Hello YouTube, this is some material I have. I'm thinking about making a rocket stove. This is four inch square tubing, quarter inch thick wall. It's really heavy. It's three foot long, approximately. This tank is about 20 inches tall, five inches diameter. That's just laying there, break drum. It could be the base for something, but we have to clean this out, get all the powder out of it. But we do have an idea. We'll pause for a second and we'll set it up and show you what our idea is going to be. Okay, we got this idea from a video on YouTube. And I believe it's a good idea. I'm not a scientist at doing these rocket stoves. I've been watching videos for a while. But put the square tubing off to the side and make it curve. When the fire goes in, it's supposed to help spin it to go up the tube. And if I do build this, I'll give him credit. I'll put his channel in my description when I build it. Instead of putting it straight on, it's going to be off to the side. So when the fire goes in, it'll swirl. I've seen people put things there to make it swirl and stuff. I don't want to get that carried away. This is kind of an experiment. I've never really made one of these like this. But I've also watched the video where they put a piece on top. Say it was 7 inches tall on top of the burn chamber. And you can make an oven with a door. So you can have an oven on top of here. And I also will give credit to that channel if I use that idea. But just a quick short video. I've had this laying off in the shed for a while. You can tell how grungy it is. Something I drug home out of the junk. This is, I'm pretty sure, quarter inch thick. Walled. It is not thin. This is not like you just go buy four inch square tubing. This is very heavy and thick. It's either three sixteenths or quarter inch. And it is almost three foot long, so I have plenty of material. Also, this already has a piece on the bottom. This was welded to a car rim at one time. So I'll have a bottom already on there. I just have the torch cut it off or straighten this back out and use this as a square base. I probably won't. I'll probably just get rid of it. But I never throw no metal away. This could be made into gussets or something, but at least the bottom's already plugged. If I wanted to make just a square tube going up. So I will save, maybe save a foot of this if I don't need it for another project. Okay, that about covers it. Just a quick idea, a quick short video. Thanks for watching.